Good evening. To say there's bad blood between some of the nurses and the nurses' union might be an understatement. When thousands of nurses walked the picket line for one day last month, a few dozen chose not to. Many of them received letters from the union threatening disciplinary action. But today, the union admitted some of those letters were a mistake. We get more from Carol Evans' Juliana Olson. While thousands of Twin Cities nurses were on the picket line June 10th, Nurses Karen Herman I couldn't do it. and Maria Rule were on the job at Children's Hospital in Minneapolis. It has been the most difficult decision I've ever had to make in my life. Both RNs chose to resign from the union rather than strike. I wanted to protect my patients. Rule has proof from the post office that the union received her resignation letter in time. Yet last week, and I said, You gotta be kidding me. The union yeah, sent both a letter charging them with crossing the picket line and threatening a reprimand. I was angry that I, I got the letter. Rule Herman and a third nurse called the National Right to Work Foundation. I was told that I, we believe that you are being harassed by getting this letter and that I think we should file an unfair labor practice charge against your union. And that's what the women have done. The Minnesota Nurses Association says they've not yet seen any formal complaints, but today admitted that due to a clerical error, the union accidentally sent out accusatory letters to five or six nurses that had resigned before the strike began. The union declined to comment on camera, but said it is mailing apologies to those nurses. At this point, I don't accept that until I can hear exactly how the mistake was made. Rule and Herman say work isn't the same since they went against the union tide. I was essentially committing professional suicide. I have fractured relationships at work, people, you know, avoiding eye contact. And the union letter felt like salt in a wound that was just beginning to heal. All the relationships that have been fragmented because of this, how can we repair it? How can we make ourselves stronger and continue to provide safe patient care? Rule and Herman haven't heard from the union and say they don't know if they are among the handful of nurses who are going to receive apologies. The National Labor Relations Board is investigating. Right. Thanks, Juliana. Sure.